The scientific community has been actively looking into space for years now in the search of other habitable planets like our very own Earth. And finally, the day has arrived. Astronomers have observed a pair of exoplanets not very far from Earth, of which one has never been seen before, that they believe to be a strong candidate for supporting life. Welcome to another episode of Space Nomad. And today, let's get to know about this new discovery where humans can live for more than 3,000 years. The majority of planets discovered around other stars, known as exoplanets, are unsuitable for life as we know it. They're either scorching hot or freezing cold, and the majority consist of nothing but gas. Relatively small terrestrial planets like our Earth are difficult to detect. Only a few are known to receive the appropriate amount of radiation from their star to allow liquid water to exist on their surface. The recently reported discovery of a promising candidate for such a world by a team of researchers led by the University of Bern and the National Center of Competence and Research, Planet S is therefore a significant one. According to this international team of researchers, led by astrophysicist Leticia Delrez, two super-Earth-like planets have been found orbiting LP 890-9. LP 890-9 is a small, chilly star, also known as TOI-4306 or Speculus-2, in the constellation of Eridanus, which is roughly a hundred light years from Earth. I know, earlier I mentioned not very far from Earth, but hey, a hundred light years in stellar terms is still pretty close. This happens to be the second coolest star after TRAPPIST-1 around which worlds have been found. Last year, researchers discovered a planet around LP 890-9 with the help of NASA's TESS space telescope. The discovery was made using the so-called transit method, in which the telescope monitors the brightness of the star looking for slight dimmings that might be caused by planets passing in front of the star. The planet was dubbed LP 890-9b, or TOI-4306b, which is about 30% bigger than Earth. On the other hand, although it orbits quite close to its star, its star has half the temperature of our Sun and is 6.5 times smaller than our Sun, allowing for the planet to comfortably stroll in the habitable zone of LP 890-9, or TOI-4306, or Speculus-2, as you may like to call it. The planet completes an orbit around its host star in a time period of 2.7 days. According to the report, the present average lifespan of humans on Earth is 73.5 years. Considering this average lifespan on Earth, TOI-4306b, which has a much shorter year due to its very short orbit, would be 9,943 years. The team carried out a follow-up with ground-based telescopes, which is often necessary to confirm that the detected candidates are actually planets and to then learn more about their properties. This follow-up is particularly important in the case of relatively cold stars, such as TOI-4306, which emit most of their light in the near-infrared and for which TESS has rather limited sensitivity. The team used Speculus telescopes to confirm the presence of the TOI-4306b planet. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Speculus stands for Search for Habitable Planets Eclipsing Ultra-Cool Stars. Whoa, that's a really long name. Well, I see efforts behind naming this telescope. After all, they haven't just clubbed the first letters of each word. A cool way to name a telescope that studies ultra-cool stars. They also used this telescope to find any other planets that TESS might have missed. That's when the stargazers discovered another planet, LP 890-9c, renamed Speculus-2c by the Uliege researchers, which is 40% larger than Earth and takes 8.5 days to orbit its sun. This essentially translates to an average lifespan of 3,158 years for an average person. Although this planet orbits very close to its star, at a distance of about 10 miles shorter than that of Mercury around our Sun, due to the smaller size and lower temperature of its host star, the amount of stellar irradiation it receives is still low and could allow the presence of liquid water on the planet's surface, 
provided it has a sufficient atmosphere. The planet is expected to be rocky as we have not yet found exoplanets as small as 1.4 Earth radii that are not rocky. The planet is also probably tidally locked to its star, meaning that it's always daytime on one side and always night on the other. Though we're not entirely sure what standing on Speculus 2C's surface would be like, the daytime sky might look quite a bit different than what we're used to. A star that's only 6.5 times smaller would probably still look a heck of a lot bigger from a 96-degree close-up. Scientists are always looking for signs that an alien world is capable of supporting life. One of the first things they look for is the distance that the planet is from its star. Well, but does lying in the habitable zone make it potent enough to sustain life? Much depends on the presence and composition of a potential atmosphere to be able to answer whether this planet can indeed hold liquid surface water or not. We need to learn more about it. Scientists hope to use the James Webb Space Telescope to find out what makes up the planet's atmosphere, even if it has no one at all. By using Webb, researchers could learn more about the exoplanet's potential for hosting life. But due to the high demand for its equipment, the researchers might have to wait for their observations to be completed. So, what do you think? Are these newly discovered worlds capable of sustaining life? Or is there already some kind of alien life present there? If yes, would they be welcoming? What if they got to know about us and capture our planet as well? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Space Nomad. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel as we'll be coming up with much more exciting videos every week.